If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. 7, 11, 22, 29, 38, and 4. Those were the winning numbers on the Mega Millions ticket where someone in New Jersey uh, just won $1.13 billion. That is great. Wow. That is great, though. Maybe he'll get out of New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Jersey people are lifers. Like they, oh. want, if you're born in Jersey, you stay in New Jersey. They love mm-hmm. it. They I, do love I, it. I respect that 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 cultural thing. Like this is my home. I don't leave my home. I, you know, yeah. my but home New York home. people are like, I can't wait to get out of here. But, at some point, they're like, yeah, they bail. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I always look yeah. at New Jersey and New York as kind of the same thing, but it's clearly different attitudes. But somebody is now a they billion all dollars. The same, though. Uh, one point well, do. one <laughs> billion dollars richer. It's crazy. Now, if you didn't win, which you probably didn't. Um, the Powerball. Powerball, yeah, Powerball drawing is tonight uh, eight hundred sixty-five million dollars. Yeah, I got two Powerball tickets that I hit, I match the Powerball, but nothing else that gets me two dollars. So those are my. Two, I'm going to use those two to buy two tickets for tonight's sure. Powerball. It's only a dollar to buy a Powerball ticket. No, it's two dollars. Yeah. Oh, it's two dollars. So yeah. what time do the uh, Powerballs drop? Eleven Eastern. Okay, I'm never up that late. Yeah. You just have to find out the next day. It's like something to sleep on. Um, <laughs> Krispy Kreme was trending yesterday. They announced a partnership with McDonald's. I think this oh. is really smart. Yeah, so, I had the scoop on that. Oh, did you? Mm-hmm. Former intern Wiki Ryan alerted me to that yesterday. Mm. What is oh, he doing? Sorry, Rob. You shouldn't say that. Mm, I know. It's very I, I, territorial. Well, Rob didn't, if, if no, Rob, Rob didn't Rob have didn't. the info, what's wrong with oh, that? I, I did have the info. I, just thought, I thought it was old news. That's why I didn't bring it up. <laughs> Well, it was announced Ugh. yesterday. Did you have an inside track on the on the information? I know, I heard about it like a month or so ago. Uh, oh, did you? Huh? Mm. Yeah, it didn't say a word. Yeah, so how well, we well, yeah. Well, um, why are you holding out? I think uh, well, uh, Rob's time, in a in a super secret type of um, a club. Is he? Mm-hmm. Well, the last time I didn't tell TJ about something, it was that orange the orange frosty, and he got upset that when he couldn't get it that day. So that's why I was holding mm-hmm. out. That's true. You're kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah. Well, it's not even available yet. <laughs> Um, uh, Zoom that would be his reaction. Talk to Ryan. <laughs> Intern joke. Wiki Ryan also um, alerted me to something else big. Huh. Um, Whataburger is coming to Charlotte. I yep. did see that. That's mm-hmm. nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We do have Whataburgers here, but apparently it's not any way related no. to yeah. the No, there's a local Whataburger. one in Mooresville here. A drive-in there's a, kind yeah, there's of thing. a couple of them. I think the local yeah. ones don't have hyphens in their right, name. They don't. Right. And they, yeah, they spell it W-H-A-T. Yeah. yeah. And the other one I think is just W-A-T. Okay. Yeah, Whataburger's coming here. But uh, let me just quickly say, a Krispy Kreme McDonald's, you're going to be able to buy Krispy Kremes in McDonald's, uh, I think, in 2026. So it's a little ways away, wow. but I think that's a great great idea. Um, and then uh, Diddy's lawyers are saying uh, about the raid that it it was, um, what did they call it? Unnecessarily they, un- m- uh, militaristic raid. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Donald Trump said, uh, shut up. <laughs> yeah, right. Because when I'm saying that, Diddy's saying that that I'm, you know, I need to be banished from society. Yeah, exactly. You know, Puffy said that about him. You yeah, know, he's a, a white, more, uh, the type of white person that needs to be banned. Oh, great. Yeah, hey, yeah, so, yeah. Diddy's mm-hmm. in some hot water this week. So those are just a few things that are now trending. All right, uh, Rob thinks that somebody's scamming him, and he's he's wondering if anybody else is going through this sort of uh, suspicion as well when it comes to getting your food delivered to you. We'll do that next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with calitrin. We're here with our friend Richard Takato of the Richard Takato Companies, and he's ready to save you some money, get you some money with an instant equity line of credit. How does that work, Richard? Best product ever. Oh, we, we take a little bit of your information. Uh, we find out if you get an offer or not. If you get an offer, you can decide what you want to do. Get your money four days later. Pay off credit cards. Do home improvements. I've done it. It's yeah. super simple. And again, 
Start to finish, four days, you get your money. Homewithrichard.com is where you get the process started. It's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. My name is TJ and I don't ever use food delivery services. Those, um, those Uber Eats and whatnot. It's not because I'm afraid of the technology. It's just because um, I just don't ever have a need in it, really. And if anybody is with me that wants food delivered, they have the app and they do it. Okay? But the Tech D Rob does it all the time. I mean, all the time. So now when they give you that option to, that you're supposed to tip ahead of time, he thinks that, um, that they may be trying to scam people to get a bigger tip. And how are they doing that, Rob, do you think? After I ordered, um, it showed who was going to pick up the item. It showed, showed the name, and then it said, on a bike. So the delivery person was gonna be on a bicycle. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so, then you started thinking, well, maybe the, the tip that I left is not enough for a bicycle person. It was, it was a good distance on a bike. It was like 30 yeah. minute bike ride. <laughs> and That's then what happened when they deliver the food? It was in a car. Yeah, showed up in a car. Oh! So, oh, that could have been a scam. That could have been. been. So, but you don't know they're on a bike until after you've already ordered and tipped, right? Right, but but there's an option like when you're to tip com- more. Yeah, yeah, when it's completed, it'll okay. say, "Hey, if you want to adjust your tip, you may r- right now." Yeah, I was <laughs> I just double checking. I knew that, that was there. Yeah. I was double checking to make sure you didn't know because then you'd have to make it an extra step to let me throw them five more dollars because they're on a bike kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, I think I think that's what they're going for. for Sympathy sure. tips is what they want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did now, you, what if you, you did, did not tip give... it more and then they showed up in the car? Would you take it away? I don't know. I don't know if the, I don't know when it alerts them, but I'd be scared to take something away from somebody. But can, knows where I live. Can you adjust the tip after they've delivered the food? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I think I would adjust. I'm like, yeah. you kind of tried to play me there. I don't appreciate that. See, I don't think I like. Do that. you put a I note? Wouldn't... Would you put a note in? No. Like, and, uh, I wouldn't try to scold them or anything, but I, I think I would uh, consider changing it. I wouldn't tip any more if they're delivering it on a bicycle or in a car. It wouldn't that wouldn't matter to me. I'd be tipping them the you know the proper amount to begin with, and their mode of transportation is their choice. Not I don't have anything to do with that. All right. I know is I ordered food, I paid for the food, and I tipped them whatever yeah. percentage for the delivery. Mm-hmm. Did, did However, they tip, get it here is you, their business. Yeah, twenty percent, twenty percent. Would I you just tip a pregnant a server more? I would. Um, no. or like with somebody with a cast on, like I think there's ways to kind of uh, no, get more money no, out of a table. I, mean, I would, no. I would tip more. I think a lot of women fake being pregnant when they're working in the <laughs> service industry. Yeah, you would. So yeah. your server comes to the table, Rick, and you're in a restaurant, and he has a cast on his arm. Yeah, you're more likely to give him a bigger tip. Not if it's a dude for some reason. If it's a girl, <laughs> I'm like, oh, poor thing. So girl with a cast arm. gets yeah. a gets a gets a bigger tip than See, girl without she's a cast. Working harder. I, I would go the other way though. Service isn't going to be as good. Yeah, like you can't. You know, most of the time, I know some people who were probably born without limbs and whatnot have overcome. But if you just got a broken collarbone, then you're not going to be able to get the the yeah. plates on the table and all as as efficiently as somebody with two arms, mm. who's you know used to doing two arms. So I'm going <laughs> I'm going to go a lower tip on that. You get nothing. <laughs> no, I'll give her give her a little something, but let her know that you're not happy. No, I don't have to let her know anything. I but mean, well, your I lower just, tip will. Uh. Well, I mean, again, yeah, 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 yeah. It'd be like maybe 2%. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that one arm, you know, that, that carries a lot of weight. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, so we have found the perfect new career for Ace. And um, we'll we'll read the job uh, description to him and probably have him quit right here on the spot when he finds out about it. Coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Hey, it's Ace, and for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, They were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue and uh never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do you know the the higher end shots now three months later how do you feel i'm 95 percent better if not 100 percent. you know it, it's just been one of the best decisions i've made 
do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. Available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. So as uh, as we start a new business, like a lot of people, you know, Ace and I have started a new business here. Um, the only difference is, is that we wait until we were in our 50s to start the new business, try to get it off the ground. But when you're doing that, you know, you go through growing pains. And sometimes, um, you know, you might want to pick up a little job on the side here or there, making, uh, making ends meet and so forth. And so um, I always stay on the lookout for such things. Now, this wouldn't be a job for me, but this would be perfect for you, Ace. If okay. you Some extra money. Gambling site, Bet USA is looking to hire a wiener connoisseur. <laughs> The, 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 the person will visit 30 major league ballparks and check out the wieners at each one. You'll get to taste test dozens of hot dogs, but they really don't care how good they are. They just want you to measure each weenie to see which major league club has the biggest and smallest. <laughs> And once you got your hands on one, you'll need to measure the length uh, and the diameter, um, uh, a.k.a. the girth brooks of it, and uh, also how heavy it is. But it's not a full-time gig, so you'd still be able to do your duties here with the Ace and TJ Network. Um, But uh, (laughs) they don't expect you to handle all these uh, wieners for free. They will pay you a little bit. You get game tickets. Uh, travel expenses and you get uh, $2,500. They're also going to throw in a $500 gift card for MLBshop.com and a subscription to MLB TV. Oh, yeah. How do I get that job? Um, I would be a wiener connoisseur. Well, I don't know here. They, they may, they may say that you're not eligible because you're overqualified. (laughs) (laughs) Now that I'm re- reading the uh, the fine prints, uh, it says you can apply on their website between now and April 18th. 18th. Just enter your name and email, then uh, write a short pitch for why you're the most qualified person to measure wieners. Okay. <laughs> um, now, that story came from Axios, so uh, I wasn't on Axios because I don't think they would allow me to be on Axios, yeah. being a conservative and all, such as I am. But... Somebody had uh, um, alerted me to it and sent me the story. So, <sighs> did that whole story just to <laughs> just for that first five seconds? That's right. That's you the only reason. Yeah. The whole thing. Well, the rest of it was kind of uh, tongue in cheek. Yeah, sure. Well, it worked. You, know, it worked. you got to measure in, the wieners, in, yeah. in the girth, the, in the in the weight, the weight. <laughs> and, he, and, he, and he got to use <laughs> his, his his favorite expression, Girth Brooks, girth Brooks which, sure. which he loves. Yeah. So um, he managed I mean, to make that work. Hey, yeah. how much does the weenie weigh? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to bring a scale with you? Uh, yeah, I would think Probably. so. That's, that, you're going to look odd. Mm. Well, I mean, you're in there you know, for a purpose, though. That's your job. Yeah, you're you know, working. You're the weenie, Excuse me. Weenie, weenie connoisseur. Weenie connoisseur coming through. It's mm-hmm. probably weirder when you pull out the tape measure. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what is that guy yeah, doing? You think? <laughs> you just make sure you hold it up really high while you're doing it. It's not in your lap. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ Show. All right, look at us back here again with Richard Takato and uh, the Richard Takato companies. You like that, don't you? you well, know? it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> <Me. laughs> so uh, we tell you all about uh, Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, this equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your social security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move it. You can, if you want to get less or you want to do the terms different, it's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day. 
Get your money four days later. You know, we have a lot of listeners calling in, taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard barbecues, whatever they need. Now, listen to that. You call in, they set it up, your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. Live each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. On TJ's podcast uh, today, which will uh, be posted at around 10 Eastern on our um, on our Ace and TJ family app and YouTube's and all of that, um, we're gonna be we're gonna be cooking. We're making pear salad today. It came up yesterday how disgusting pear salad looks, and so sounds gross. We're gonna we're gonna make some pear salad, so you don't want to miss that. You know, just in time for your Easter dinner. Uh, one of the most beloved children's authors in history of American literature or even world literature, I would say, is a fellow named Shel Silverstein. Love Ace, Shel I know you love Sh- uh, Shel Silverstein. Mm-hmm. The he wrote Tree. The Giving Tree, is one of his most famous works. Mm. Uh, did you know that he was in the smut business? Shel, Shel Silverstein. Silverstein was in the smut business. Um, and uh, he was providing for himself, trying to break into the children's um, uh, book and poem and all uh, industry by uh, working in the smut industry. Wow. By, well, let's, how do you he define... Was, he was basically a sex worker, as they would call it today. What did he do? He was a cartoonist for Playboy for 40 years. You're kidding. So like dirty cartoons. I'm kidding. That's, that's yeah. the only kind I've, I've ever heard of being in Playboy, yeah. except for political cartoons, and I bet he wasn't doing that. He's, you know... He's you know making caricatures with, you know, oversized features. Yeah. I'm sure that's what cartoonists do, isn't it? Yeah. So there he is, Mr. Giving Tree. Oh. Uh, mm-hmm. oh uh, okay. You yeah. see some of his work? I googled mm-hmm. it, and apparently, yeah, he just yeah. I'll tell you where the <laughs> sidewalk ends. Yeah. Right between those muffins. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, I mean, what was really going on under that tree? Come on. Yeah. Oh, it's giving, all right. <laughs> giving it to you. <laughs> <laughs> giving it to you. Yeah. Uh, he apparently, there, mm-hmm. there are a few of them here. They're not as racy, I guess, as you would think, but there are a few but, of them here that are pretty racy. But, I mean, if you saw them and somebody just told you uh, out of nowhere and showed it to you on the street, man on the street interview, said, look yeah. at this cartoon. You know who did that? Shell Silverstein. You'd laugh and walk away from him. You say, stop trying to besmirch his good name. Yeah, that's true. Oh, man. <laughs> He's got a good job for 40 years, and he tells his wife, baby, I want to write poetry <laughs> for kids. She She's like, get your back to Playboy <laughs> and shut up. <laughs> we know we've got that money coming in every month. Come on. I want to give it a shot. <laughs> and, you know, pros. and uh, I wonder if, anybody knew that back then because back then I don't that know. was frowned upon for crossing those worlds. Oh, sure. now it's encouraged for the most part in, in a lot of uh, areas yeah. of children's uh, learning it would have been really easy to conceal that back then too yeah you couldn't no do it today but but that. then yeah nobody I, I, that's mm-hmm. fascinating i wonder if anybody knew at the time oh here comes that perv shell and yeah yeah shell yeah. walking through the yeah. halls you ever seen his garage <laughs> he's got all kinds of dirty books in there wait until you really know what the yeah. giving tree is giving right. yeah. mr yeah. smut peddler is what <laughs> that's he's wild <laughs> This is the Ace and TJ Show. <laughs> All right, what's coming up in Now Trending, Riggins? Uh, everything you need to know coming up in Now Trending. And more. <laughs> and I'm more. glad I and asked. More. <laughs> Winter is here, which means you're just going to stay inside and not do anything fun and exciting, right? No, that is wrong, because this year you're going to go to acetj.com slash Gaston and see all of the incredible things that you can do right now in Gaston County. 
Everything is laid out for you from things to do to restaurants to bars to shopping to unique weekend activities. And we'll get you ready for the spring and the summer with a list of all their great festivals. Find all of this and much more at acetj.com slash Gaston. Create an unforgettable experience with the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Weddings, banquets, shows, expos, they do it all at the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. All right, so somebody in New Jersey... Uh, won the Mega Millions last night. Yeah. Maybe they're a listener of the show. I don't know. We do have that app. Could be. Yeah. Could, could be. We could have a billion dollar radio were, family member. There were a considerable number of people that won. Is it a million? Uh, yeah. The match. If you think there were, there were like eight or ten tickets that won a million dollars mm-hmm. last night. Also, yeah. It's crazy. I don't understand how any of this works. Like how you get it, but I know mm-hmm. none of them were in our listening. Yeah, area. The yeah you match a certain number, and then yeah. it's different dollar values. Like if you just match the Powerball, you get two dollars. Okay, but yeah. if you match, you know, like three out of the others, then you are four out of the others. You'll get this much or that much. You know. Yeah. yeah. What did you match, Rob? One time was it Rob that matched? You matched five numbers, but didn't have the Powerball. No, it was like three numbers and the Powerball. And the Powerball, yeah, oh, three numbers and, and the Powerball, power. and Rob got like. What, 50 bucks? It wasn't great. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. thought it would have been a lot more. They were like, nope, it's 50 bucks. You know? It's not bad. It's better than nothing. Hey, yeah, better than right. a sharp stick in the eye. It's enough yeah. to go buy more lottery tickets. Right, yeah. but now you won't ever win again. Right. See, and that's the thing. If you win a million when it's a billion, or, you know, but after taxes, you'll end up getting about, I don't know, $77. Then, you, But you've blown your odds of ever winning the lottery again. Right. Mm-hmm. Might as well quit yeah. playing any kind of big money them, then. I'd tell them, keep it. <laughs> I want to keep playing. Don't give me that million. <laughs> <laughs> so Diddy is the top trending topic at the moment. Mm. Um, people still reacting to the the raids on his homes in Los Angeles and Miami. Um, mm-hmm. TMZ has some video of him being intercepted by federal agents right outside of his airplane, and his like twenty five year old assistant uh, was arrested. And people are calling him the drug mule because he was yeah. arrested for cocaine. And didn't he play basketball for Clemson or, or some? Then when he a know, basketball player, that. he is a wormy looking yeah. little dude. He was a college basketball player, and I thought they said he played for Clemson. Really? Well, that and would be you wild. This other lawsuit that's come out now as part of this whole deal, they've unearthed a music producer named Rodney Jones has a Le thirty Rod. million dollar lawsuit know, against man. against Diddy. That includes a variety of things. He accuses Diddy of sexual abuse, and in court papers, he talked about Diddy's alleged trafficking parties and his access to famous and important people, including Prince Harry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Cuba Gooding Jr.'s name comes up. The guy says uh, an amended version of the lawsuit of money accuses Cuba Gooding Jr. of sexual assault. Yeah, but they, they don't accuse Harry of doing anything. They don't accuse except, Harry of doing anything. Except yeah. giving uh, Puffy some, um, some classy cred. Oh, well, that yeah. would help. Yeah, but his, his name Prince surfaced in the deal, but I, I don't know why your name surfaces when you're not involved in anything. That seems unfair. But yeah, okay. it does. Yeah. Um, so earlier this week, I told you, Rebel Wilson, you know, uh, she was Fat Amy in, um, what was the movie called? Bride's Pitch Day, Perfect. Uh, uh, Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect. Uh, I like her, but she's got this memoir coming out, and in it she dedicates a whole chapter to how much of an awful person Sasha Baron Cohen is. And I went, what? who's got a beef with Sasha Baron Cohen? I didn't. I thought everybody loved him. He was Borat. And uh, it's come out now. And, and now I'm starting to think this is all a gag. She says they were working on a movie in 2016. He called her on to set. She wasn't supposed to be working. And, he's, and he pulls his pants down and asks her to uh, do something to his bottom. And she said, I was very uncomfortable with it. And it was in front of an entire crew of people. And it was for a shot. And uh, I, that's one instance of him being a, a freak jerk is basically what she's saying mm. now he's come out and said this is not true these are false allegations uh there's m- a lot of video uh, supporting my side um yeah wouldn't it be and now easy it's so to disprove we- yeah n- now it's getting so weird i kind of feel like oh is this like a borat bit kind of thing so yeah uh i'm gonna share a crazy story coming up next week. this is the ace and tj show well, here we are, another new year, and you're, again, going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help. Because Calitrin is not a drug. 
No, not at all. It is natural and effective. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep. When you buy three months supply of Calitrin, you will get three months free right now. And consistency is the key with Calitrin. So order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss. It's Calitrin. Meal delivery services are a big thing right now, but Table and Twine is your local meal delivery service. The meals are fresh, not frozen like national chains. Plus, their meals start at just $7.99 a serving. Take back that time in your day. Leave the shopping, preparation, and cooking to Table and Twine. Get details at tableandtwine.com. That's tableandtwine.com. Just listen to the Ace and TJ show. Watch it now available 24 hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. We did it, Joe. We did it. It's National Joe Day. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> you celebrate everybody named Joe or, or a variation of Joe. Josephine, Joseph, Jody, Jodine, Jody. Huh? That's dumb. Why do we celebrate names? Because names. Do they have uh, National Steve Day, yeah. National Bob well, Day? But there? I would think if you're going to celebrate a person's name day, it would be the you know the the man who was there finding a place for baby Jesus to be born. Yeah, right around Easter. What does that have to do with this? Joseph. Joseph. Okay. We can't celebrate the. I'll yeah. celebrate that, Joseph, but to celebrate everybody named Joe is dumb. Wow, wow. Everybody Sorry, gets a Joe. birthday. That's your day of celebration. Ooh. You don't get to celebrate just because you're... I don't, I don't expect anybody to have a, a National David Day and we celebrate everybody named David. That's just stupid. Well, if we do, we need to throw it in the trash. what about the people who... Yeah. <laughs> Get rid of David mm, Day. Mm, Thank you, Rob. <laughs> what about what about people who don't who have a weird name that nobody else has? They have an unusual name. They don't get a day of celebration. Yeah, to, yeah, but I mean, you know, not cool. You don't have to like throw them a party or anything or get them a gift. I don't, it's I don't just see. kind of a hey, Joe. Yeah, where are you going with that gun in your hand? hand. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Hendrix. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wanted to get y'all's opinion on this because I don't know much about football. What is the deal with? I saw that the NFL is banning the the hip drop tackle. And I watched some videos of that uh, of the the tackle that they're talking about, and it just looks like they're tackling somebody. Right. So, is this a good move for the NFL or a bad move for the NFL? Is this the the continuing uh, softening softening of, of wussification, of the wussification of sports in America? Yeah, that is it. Yeah, it, it certainly seems that way. Because it just seemed like he, he, explain well, you what you do. Well, you do around the waist and then when fall? you when you tackle somebody. It's rarely done the way it's supposed to be done now. Now they tackle with just like trying to knock somebody down. They don't wrap their arms around them and drive them back, you know, backwards and into the ground. Uh, so if you want to wrap somebody up and they're running, there's a technique that you wrap them and then slide down their legs and then spin, kind of okay. do a little spin thing. And it's it's pulling people's hips out of joint and things like that. It they, is injuring people. They okay. say it results in about 25 times the rate of injury as a typical tackle. Okay. Well, people were very upset about it on the internet, saying we've basically we're you know we're moving towards flag football, and yeah. I know that that's well, an argument that gets thrown out every time and, you make a and, change. Well, and one of the arguments but, is again, once again, they've changed the rules. It's really unfair for a defensive player. It makes mm -hmm. it, it makes it even harder to be a defensive player. There's going to be a lot of flags next year. Yeah. Well, and, they, and you're going to see a lot more scoring, which is what they mm -hmm. want. They want to ramp up scoring, so they make it harder and harder on defensive players. Yeah. Once they once they invented the helmet, then it all got soft <laughs> from right. there. Just a bunch of you know yeah. little little feminine men out there running Shit around dollars. worried about getting hurt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everyone looks like Harry Styles <laughs> <laughs> out there. <laughs> Like throwing the pig skin. Um, <laughs> they ought to get off the team and go get in the band and play the piccolo or something. <laughs> <laughs> I met the most uh, millennial couple the other day, and I forgot to mention, but I think you're going to really enjoy what they told me about their sweet shelter dog. I'm going to share it with you next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Richard Takato with the Richard Takato Companies is here. And Richard, how can people save money every month? when they're dealing with you in a refi? By paying off high interest rate credit cards. You know, sometimes it's better to have one payment than it is to have eight, nine, 10, 12 payments. So refinancing that first mortgage and getting all that 
cash out to pay off all your credit card makes a lot of sense. It makes life much easier. Go to homewithrichard.com to start the process. A lot of options with Richard Ducato. Don't miss this opportunity. Homewithrichard.com. Today, every company is a technology company, but becoming a fully enabled digital workplace is not easy. That's why you have CompuCom to guide you, a proven leader in managed IT services. They'll do more than just get you ready for today. They'll get you ready for tomorrow. Go to CompuCom.com for details. Live each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Okay, so uh, I like uh, I, I, I used to live in the city for a long time. Everybody just kind of minds their business. They say the city is where you go to disappear, and it's true. People just it, they mind their own business. They keep walking, but when you move up to the suburbs and you finally interact with people, they're very excited to talk. And the other day I was walking around and I come upon this uh, millennial, my age couple, and they've got a really cute dog. And it looks like a, um, looks like a really tiny husky, if that makes sense, like a Siberian husky, but really small. It's got a lot of fur on it. And I said, oh my gosh, that's really cute. What is that? And, the, and then that opens the floodgates when you ask like, what is that? Well, he survived a flood and uh, I forget where they said, somewhere out of the country, like Ecuador. Like, hmm. I didn't even know they had that much rain in Ecuador. But uh, it, it, he survived a flood and he flew to um, Cincinnati with a, with a rescue effort. And then we uh, drove out there and we picked him up. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're so cute. You know, I'm giving them all the things they want to hear. And they say, your dog's really fluffy too. Do you have, do you have to do the, um, the old backyard bidet? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Like rinsing them down. So mm. yeah, sometimes and they go, well, here's a little trick. Here's what we do. We spray his bottom with uh, watered down fabric softener. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Really? What is that? <laughs> I guess to make it make where, it, it won't, it's non-stick i guess so but i guarantee you if the, the the people that rescued this dog from ecuador from a flood find out that you're spraying your dog with a uh, fabric softener bounce <laughs> or downy they are going to come claim that dog and they're going to rip it from your your arms and you're going to be devastated so maybe just keep that to yourself but that's the that's the <laughs> level of love we're talking about with these what they call uh dinks dual income oh, no yeah. kids they treat the dog like a like a, an actual child, which is, uh, you know, you make your own judgment about that. But they desperately love this dog, and the dog had a goofy name. It was like named Lemon Drop or something like that. <laughs> yeah. um, my dog's name is Riley. Uh, I I called him uh, Rye 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 Fly, then uh, Fruit Fly. Now I just call him Fruit most of the time, just Fruit. So tell us the name of your dog. And the the name you actually call your dog or cat, and show us the progression of how you got to that nickname, because nobody actually calls their dog by their name. Like, what does Amanda call Toby? Uh, there's a bunch of you know, right. Like she'll call him Scrunch, or you know, because he's because kind of, it's a loose skin. Yeah, you know, they're all kinds of different things. It just kind of depends on the moment. You uh, you probably just call him Toby, right? Uh, Toby, or I call him like Sweet Prince because that's what Sweet? Peyton, used to, Peyton used to call him, Sweet Prince. Okay, so I, I've kind of adopted that. So at least once a day, I make sure to call him Sweet Prince. Okay, that's very cute. That's what I call Riggins. Because that's Sweet what Prince. Because that's, yeah. that's what his mom called him when he was little. Yeah. Good morning, Sweet Prince. Yeah. I am a Sweet Prince. What do you call your dog, Rob? Uh, I don't call him anything, but like I call him Baby from time to time. Well, just oh. just the one anyway. Baby. Oh, see, Rob's got so he's a big softy. Uh, he says he doesn't like those dogs. But that's, but if you call your dog baby, he's a big song like that one dog. He doesn't. Call, yeah. he's been, I call one of them baby. Well, not he, the no, other he one. says it all the time. He doesn't like those dogs. I hate those dogs. I call but the he, other one a piece of you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your dog's name? How you got to the nickname that you actually call him at the Ace TJ Show? We'll get your answers next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Hey, it's Ace, and for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue and uh never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do you know the the higher end shots now three months later how do you feel 
I'm 95% better, if not 100%. You know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. If you want all of the heating, air, and electrical work in your house done by the very best, then you need Bradham Brothers. They've been a family business thriving for over 50 years, and that means they're doing something right. Go to BradhamBrothers.com. Don't just listen to the Ace and TJ show. Watch it. Now available 24 hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Well, I won't mention that it's a national Little Red Wagon Day because after I mentioned it was na- also National Joe Day, Ace freaked out. No, Little Red Wagon Day makes You sense. freaked that's out. Cool. I didn't fr- a, I didn't freak out. I just said it's stupid. And B, Little Red Wagon Day, that's cool. That's a thing. It's Americana, We're right? celebrating America, the Little Red Wagon. That's awesome. We, we don't celebrate. National Joe Day is just dumb. No celebrating of Joes. Exactly. Was a little red wagon before your time? That was way before y'all's time. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I never had a wagon like that. Mm-hmm. I like the I like the idea of it. I just don't think anybody actually <laughs> has them. So we're talking about your dogs and your dog's name or your pet's name, and uh, the name you actually call them and how you made that progression. Now, TJ, you had a dog named Dutch D- after D- Ronald Reagan. I was call him Doodle, Dutch. And mm-hmm. did you call him Dutch or did you call him Reagan or something like that? No, Dutch most of the time because it was such a cool name. You look really like yeah. It. My kids called him Dutchy. Dutchy. Yeah. Like past the duchy? Right. And then I, I would say, stop calling him that. He's named after Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan was not called Dutchy. He was called Dutch. Yeah. Was that a nickname he, for Ronald Reagan? No, his his real name was Dutch. Ronald was what the family called him because he was fat as a baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> remember, that, remember that song? Uh, <laughs> And you know what, Rob? Ace is uh, Ace's nickname as well. It's on his, on his birth certificate. Yeah. Right, fine, thanks. <laughs> Sorry, I asked a question. I called you him. will get punished for it. They <laughs> called him Ronald, but you're telling me his real name was Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> At the Ace TJ show, what's your dog's name or your pet's name? Sorry, I don't want to alienate mm. anyone. What's your pet's name and what what's the name you actually call him? Michael. I uh, said, so we have a cat named Will of Grace, but we call her Mrs. Fluffy or Nuggets. I like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, She's married. That's good. Mm-hmm. There's so many of these. We've got like a hundred of them already. Uh, Sarah said, Chester, it's my, my cat. And every time I see him, I say, there's my kitty, kitty, best friend. <laughs> <laughs> I love these. I don't know the reason for them, but Meredith calls uh, them uh, either her BFF or... Uh, big stink and little stink is the other one she calls them. Uh, big stink and little stink. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. And then she shortens it sometimes to LS. Oh my gosh. Hello, LS. <laughs> <laughs> and she sings happy birthday to him yeah. every day, right? Or or whistles it. I think she started whistling it, hoping I wouldn't recognize what the song was. Because every time she does, I go, it's not their birthday. <laughs> you don't know. But you don't know when their birthday is because they're mongrels, right? Right. Yeah. Mm. Mongrels. So that means but two days a year, she's going to be right. Well, we yeah. never know. Or they could have been more on the same day. Yeah. That's big stink, little stink. I love that. B.S. and L.S. Yeah. Jennifer doesn't even mention the dog's name. She just said uh, there were complications after his neutering uh, that made his area swelled, uh, swollen. So we would check it and ask him, how are your Franken beans? So now we just, his official name is Frankie Beans. (laughs) I like that. I do like that a lot. (laughs) Uh, so there's so many funny ones. If you've got one, please share a picture with your animal, too, mm. at the Ace TJ Show on social media. We'd love to see them. Uh, and then we're going to do Now Trending. Now. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Our friend, the world-famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, Show me about that refi, and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show me, yeah, about, that yeah, show me about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is as Ace has said, we have a lot of options, and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them seven hundred dollars a month, eight hundred dollars a month, 
it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. $700 yeah. a month. That's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. When it comes to buying or selling a house, you know, there, there are all kinds of people that can help you do that. But not like the Temple team at Keller Williams Realty. They are so much more than just real estate salespeople. Find out by going to acetj.com slash temple team. If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. So they have called off rescue efforts after mm-hmm. the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse uh, the other day. So six construction workers are now presumed dead. Um, they were able to rescue two people that were on the bridge working. Um, it could have been six, a lot worse. Yeah, I think so. Um, they did, you know, the, the, the ship managed to send a mayday signal that they were having power troubles and had lost steering. And they were able to stop people and keep them off that bridge. But those six construction workers were filling a pothole on the bridge, potholes on the bridge. It's horrible. Just it's a 150 foot drop into the water in the dark. Yeah. You just no mm-hmm. idea what's happening. Yeah. And then my question yesterday of uh, how many people have no clue who Francis Scott Key was. It was one of the most Googled um, searches. One of the most searched topics <laughs> yesterday was who was Francis Scott Key. Really? really? Yeah. That is pretty incredible. Um, eight hundred. Well, he wrote the Star Spangled Banner. If you don't know, yeah, he was an attorney and many other yeah, great so things. Yeah, he was a slip and fall lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, eight hundred and sixty-five million dollars. That is the Powerball jackpot that is up for grabs just one day after someone in New Jersey won over a billion dollars. So uh, I can't wait to see how many Greek statues they're going to be putting outside their house. That's what they. <laughs> that's what they do in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've heard. Uh, so eight hundred and sixty-five million dollars up for grabs tonight. Get your ticket now. Um, if you go see a Yankees game this year, you're going to have an up, an elevated menu to choose from. They've got deep fried meatballs that they say are better than your grandmother's. Now, saying that, where are they playing? The Bronx is yep. the are the Yankees in the Bronx? Yep. Saying they're better than your grandma's meatballs. That's like those are fighting words. They also have. Oh wait, I'm uh, sorry. It's grandpa's, not grandma's. So. Yeah. <laughs> Must be a typo. <laughs> and they also have uh now this one's a little weird, but it sounds delicious. Filet mignon tater tots. Uh what? Okay. Hmm. Okay. I mean, who's gonna argue having a little bit of filet mignon with your tater tots? I'm not. They're probably gonna be out of my price range when I go to the game, but I'd I would be willing imagine to, I'd, that, that doesn't sound bad. I'd try that. Ace is a guy who's always touted the the steak bites. Yeah, bag, love of, bag of steak or whatever yeah. you were calling it. Is yeah. it like a tacho type situation? I got a feeling probably. Mm-hmm. Anything you get like a cup of steak is never a bad idea. Absolutely. So uh, those are just a few things <laughs> that are now trending. He made a mistake. It was an accident. He didn't mean for it to happen. Oh, but as accidents go, there's a guy who has done the worst thing ever to his fiance. Not intentionally, but wait until you hear the little mistake that he made. It's bad and going viral next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. Winter is here, which means you're just going to stay inside and not do anything fun and exciting, right? No, that is wrong. Because this year, you're going to go to acetj.com slash Gaston and see all of the incredible things that you can do right now in Gaston County. Everything is laid out for you from things to do to restaurants to bars to shopping to unique weekend activities. And we'll get you ready for the spring and the summer with a list of all their great festivals. Find all of this and much more at acetj.com slash Gaston. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. If you have ever been a bride, 
you know the moment you find the wedding dress, that is a huge part of the experience. That's the dress you will remember every day for the rest of your life. And everything is built around the dress. Say yes to the dress. It's everything. Well, there's a bride in Australia. Her name is Lyndall Kane. She found a wedding dress. And then, well, let's let her explain exactly what happened to her wedding dress and the tiny mistake that her fiance made don't know why the dress was in the car that wasn't me as he moved the stuff to put the storage in the car put the dress on top of the car to not crush it and then proceeded to drive off i guess i can replace the dress but it's just more the frustration of the situation the dress was on the top of the car and he drove away Ooh. and guess what nobody knows where the dress is now <laughs> now a couple of things a little bit of good news um the dress is in a box, so it might be okay. But as of the last, they haven't found the dress yet. <laughs> uh, they went. He went back, and they they all went back and walked down the side of the highway. No luck finding the dress. Um, his name is Tom. She posted about it on Facebook, and when she posted it, she posted that Tom quote all caps stupidly left the package on the roof. End quote. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. She could have been wearing it. Yep. <laughs> and why is he handling the wedding dress anyway? Well, that's, that's not what, his business. But yeah. again, that's what she wondered because she said the box was in the car. I don't know why it was in the car. So she doesn't know exactly why it was in the car either. Now, she said he's really upset and she joked it'll at least make for a very good speech at the wedding. Plus, they still have time to replace it um, because they're not getting married until February but it was a little over two thousand mm. dollars and it is now gone. just imagine that moment that you pick out that wedding dress means everything and then a couple of days later it's <laughs> your fiance drives off and le loses it ugly woman oh, God. no <laughs> she seems like she'd be ugly <laughs> okay I don't even want to know why. That's not that <laughs> question. I just picture yeah. her being, you know, from out in the bush or something because she's Australian. Okay. Yeah. Right appear, or wrong, it's just what I'm picturing. Doesn't appear to be the case. <laughs> you didn't win the lottery, but there's a fun would you rather coming up next uh, that relates to it. Let's see. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Our friend, the world famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, show me about that refi and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show, yeah, me, about yeah, show me about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is, is Ace has said, we have a lot of options and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them in all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it, take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them $700 a month, $800 a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. $700 yeah. a month, that's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato companies. As winter packs its bags and spring settles in, the flowers, they are blooming. And as Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress, the deals are booming. You write poetry? Does one ask a fish if it swims, or a bird if it flies? It was a long winter. Love where you live, Lake Norman, with up to $1,500 in free furniture with the purchase of a mattress sleep system. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Live each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. So the Mega Millions last night was 1.1 million. The Powerball, and there was one winner in New Jersey. The Powerball tonight is 862 million or something like that? 865. 865. And what's the lump sum payment you get out of that? 471, I want to okay. say. All right, now, there's a fun would you rather going around on Reddit that is blown up. I am fascinated by the answer to this question so um 
There's a, by the way, there was one guy in Cal- Southern California that spent $600 on Mega Millions tickets. Because he knows only California people are going to win. Yeah. But here's the fun hypothetical that started circulating on Reddit. Would you rather have a 100% chance of winning a million dollars or a 75% chance at winning a billion dollars? So there is a three out of four chance that you're going to win a billion dollars or you're guaranteed a million dollars. Which one are you taking? The million. Hmm. Yeah. Tax free. For argument's sake, let's hmm. say yes. You're clearing a million. Yeah. I'd probably take the million at this point. There's no doubt about it. I would take yeah, the million. I, I, I would have to take the million right now. Yeah. Because I need that money. Um, <laughs> so. Get my yard done. <laughs> surprisingly, <laughs> most people said they'd roll the dice. 48% said they would, t- they, f- they polled 1,500 people. 48% said they would take the guaranteed money. 50- I'm sorry, it wasn't a billion, it was a hundred billion. What does it matter? Billion, hundred billion doesn't yeah, make a yeah, difference. Yeah. 52% of the people said they would risk it and go for the big money. Yeah, that's a lot. Of, mm. That's a lot of bread. But instantly, a million dollars, well, you're 37, Regan? 36. 36. A million dollars today, you, you just put that away, you're done. You're secure for life. Uh, a million bucks? Yeah. Not not in this. <clears throat> not in Joe Biden's economy. Well, if you but you invest it. I'm saying you. Oh, you, yeah, you, yeah. you invest that money, <laughs> and it makes money for you. And in 20 years, you're you're golden. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I could flip that and turn it into 50 grand in a day. That's right. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> all in that yard. Yeah. Yeah. Think of all the lottery tickets you could buy. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. win the million dollars. Yeah. I was just surprised. Buy half 50, a million. Fifty-two percent of people said they would roll the dice, but it it is, it is a seventy-five percent chance that you win the billion. But hundred billion, yeah. it's crazy. But either way, you, there's still a twenty-five percent chance you don't. And at this yeah. point, I would have to take the guaranteed money. Yeah, but would you want to get roll the dice? Oh yeah, I'd want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, you'd want to, but it just yeah. doesn't seem to make any sense. Yeah. You know? It's radio. It's a podcast. It's the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. More next. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. Hey, it's Ace. And for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, They were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue. And uh, never once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not 100%. You know, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. Available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. So we've got a couple of new things going on. TJ's podcast airs every day live on our app at 10 Eastern. Uh, you get it as a podcast. And then at 3 Eastern on our app, you can hear the Ace and Friends show with my friends Riggins and Tech D. Rob. And today, confirmed yesterday, the return of Paranormal Piper from Pinefield. Uh-oh. That's my sister. <laughs> Did nice. you know, TJ, the last time she was on, she said that she's got this thing she can do now where I, um, we're going to get into this more today, but apparently she will take an egg and roll it up and down my arm, across my shoulders, down my other arm. Then she cracks the egg, fries it, and after 20 minutes, she can read the yolk of the egg 
She fries an egg for 20 minutes? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> she reads the yolk. And then she can read the yolk of the egg to tell me what I need to work on in my life, how my life could imp- areas my life could improve. And I was uh-huh. like, well, you don't even need the egg. I can tell you all my areas of my life need improvement. Yeah, so but, need but what if she tried to tell you? You wouldn't take that so well. <laughs> so she's got to disguise it in some kind of a crazy, you know, yoke reading. Yeah. You know, because if she just came up to you and said, Dave, you know what? I've been thinking and you need to do this, this, and this, and this to better your life. You'd be like, get out of here. Yeah, me. I would probably but, respond. But then, but when the yoke's on you. Yeah. Let me tell you what, let me tell you, what uh, you need to do to improve your mm, life. yoke <laughs> says you need more money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That yoke says, hey, you fried me too long. Way too long. <laughs> 20 minutes. Yeah, maybe. That, she, didn't, she didn't say fry. That's your own spin off. I thought she, I didn't you think you got to fry the egg. She I thought that's what fry, she said. No, she rolls the egg over you. I'm acting like this is like, there's a science behind it. I'm like, no, that's not what she said. Uh, she rolls I the egg. I thought she did say she fried. No, she doesn't fry it. She just oh. cracks, she just cracks, it, cracks it after rolling it all over you and then reads the yolk like tea leaves. Oh, well, I thought it was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Until now. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying now that to you've explained it right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. No no frying the egg. This says you had a had a child recently. <laughs> so she said, "What do you want? What do you want to like do what are we going to talk about?" I was like, "Just we'll figure it out. Don't prep." Mm. Yeah, just, you just go. Let's just go. She's got a lot of stuff to talk about. She does. It's a lot of uh, you know, <laughs> paranormal stuff and searching for ghosts and just like yeah. in general. Seeing beyond but, the veil. Yeah. But how many guys around Pineville, Louisiana, are, you know, perverts going to try to pay to have her roll an egg all over them? Oh, God. It's possible. <laughs> Pull it on me. <laughs> slowly. Slowly. <laughs> yeah, so that's uh, today, 3 Eastern on the Ace hmm. and TJ app if you want to check it out. This is the Ace and TJ Show. All right. Look at us back here again with Richard Takato and uh, the Richard Takato companies. You like that, don't you? Well, yeah. it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> I mean. So uh, we tell you all about uh, Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, the instant equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your social security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move it. You can if you want to get less or you want to do the terms different. It's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day. Get your money four days later. You know, we have a lot of listeners calling in, taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard, barbecues, whatever they need. Now, listen to that. You call in, they set it up, your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day, and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Company. 